वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रशांत पाटिल जैन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बेलगाम प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशंस लाइक द वीडियो कमेंट एंड शेयर इन दिस वीडियो दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द पोलर फॉर्म ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज ओके नाउ इफ z is equal to x plus i y is a complex number complex number which is known as it is which is in a cartesian form complex number which is in cartesian form okay now here using this x and y if i draw the image uh, x axis and y axis okay along x axis this is along y axis if i choose one point p x y that is this is the my y length and if it is x length then if i join this origin to this p this is called as r okay and if this op makes an angle theta here okay let op is equal to r and angle pom equal to theta then then cos theta equal to i can write okay cos theta from the figure i can write cos theta equal to adjacent by this one that is x divided by r therefore my x is equal to i can write r cos theta whereas sin theta i can define it as y divided by r therefore y is equal to r sin theta okay x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta i can write from these two okay from these two what i can write here is z is equal to x plus i y that is x equal to r cos theta plus i into y as r sin theta or r into cos theta plus i sin theta or shortly we are writing it as r into cis theta okay which is in the polar form which is known as which is known as polar form of a complex number which is known as a polar form of a complex number here okay using this using this <coughs> r equal to i can write okay r is nothing but from the figure pythagoras theorem r equal to square root of x square plus y square and tan theta equal to i can write it as y by x therefore theta is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of y by x therefore here z is called as therefore r is equal to therefore modulus of z mod z i am writing it as mod z is equal to r is equal to square root of x square plus y square and amplitude of theta or argument amplitude of z or argument of z argument of z is equal to amplitude of z is equal to i can write it as this is our tan theta theta equal to tan inverse of y by x these properties we are going to 
use in my future calculation parts okay using this okay modulus of z and uh, polar form now one more type of this properties i can discuss here as we have e to the power x is equal to 1 plus x plus or x divided by 1 factorial x square by 2 factorial x cube by 3 factorial x raised to 4 by 4 factorial plus so on okay now e to the power ix if i'm using then what i can write here 1 plus ix divided by 1 factorial plus i square x square divided by 2 factorial plus i cube x cube divided by 3 factorial plus i raised to 4 x raised to 4 divided by 4 factorial plus so on now i can write e to the power ix equal to e to the power ix equal to uh, i can separate the real parts and imaginary parts as 1 minus i square is nothing but minus 1 therefore this is minus x square by 2 factorial next i raised to 4 is plus 1 therefore x raised to 4 by 4 factorial plus so on plus from these odd terms i can take i common and i can write it as okay i common that is x divided by 1 factorial plus i cube is nothing but minus i minus x cube divided by 3 factorial i raised to 5 is nothing but plus i therefore x raised to 5 by 5 factorial plus so on but but this is the expansion series for cos x therefore e to the power i x equal to i can write it as cos x plus i sin x this bracket is expansion for sin x therefore e to the power i x equal to i can write it as okay e to the power i x equal to i can write it as cos x plus i sin x using this property one important uh, derivation i am going to do that is e to the power i x equal to i am having cos x plus i sin x okay and e to the power minus i x i can write it as cos of minus x right there is a plus x only cos of a minus x plus i sine of a minus x i can write but this is nothing but cos x cos theta minus theta equal to plus cos theta only minus i sine x as it is adding these two what i am going to get e to the power i x plus e to the power minus i x equal to what i can write here it is addition of these two equal to cos x and adding them cos x plus i sin x and then plus cos x minus i sin x adding them these two cancel this one equal to 2 cos x therefore cos x equal to i can write it as e to the power i x plus e to the power minus i x divided by 2 correct right? remember this property similarly if i am subtracting them that is e to the power i x minus e to the power minus i x if i am doing subtraction cos x plus i sin x minus cos x minus i sin x while subtracting the sign will change this will become plus okay this will become minus this will become plus then here now cos x cos x cancels and it will remain with 2i times sin x therefore sin x equal to i can write it as sin x equal to uh, e to the power i x minus e to the power minus i x divided by 2i i can write okay this property you have to remember now using this property 
what I can write is the cos of Ix. Okay, here cos of Ix. X is replaced by Ix. Then I am getting it as e to the power i into Ix plus e to the power minus i into Ix divided by 2. This is nothing but e to the power i square minus 1 minus x plus e to the power i square is minus 1 minus of minus plus x divided by 2. This is nothing but your hyperbolic. Okay. That is cos hyperbolic x. Cos hyperbolic x. Cos i x I can write it as a cos hyperbolic x. Similarly here sin i x I can write it as a e to the power i into i x minus e to the power minus i into i x divided by 2 i. This is nothing but e to the power minus x minus e to the power plus x divided by 2 i. But uh, this i is nothing but minus i I can write. 1 by i. 1 by i equal to minus i. Therefore, minus i into e to the power minus x minus e to the power x divided by 2 due to this i. This is multiplied inside. I am going to get i into e to the power x minus e to the power minus x divided by 2. This is the sin hyperbolic x. Therefore, sin i x equal to, I can write it as i into sin hyperbolic x. Remember this property also. While solving the examples, I am going to use these two properties very very many times. Like this, some more examples on complex functions I am going to explain in my next videos. If you not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my next videos. Like this video, comment and also share this video. Thank you friends.